In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to play a powerful draw shot. When I started playing pool, I always struggled with draw shots. Sometimes I didn't get anything out of the cue ball and just played a stop shot instead. And then there were times when I overdrew the cue ball by a mile, and I never really knew what exactly went wrong on these shots. And that happens to a lot of beginners and even experienced players. So in this lesson, we are going to talk about how to play a powerful draw shot. There are several things we gotta take care of. Hitting the cue ball on the right spot, adjusting your bridge length and where you hold the cue, and there is also a thing called timing that is very important. After we talked about those three points, I will also give you a few general things on the way. So let's start. Often people aim low on the cue ball, but when they are making their final stroke, they hit way above their aiming point. As you see in this example, where I was practicing draw shots with one of my students, we figured out that he hit way above his aiming point. If you're not sure whether you're having the same problem, you could either also do a slow-mo video, or you could use the Jim Rampy training cue ball, because this ball shows you where you actually hit. So the first step is to make sure that you actually hit low enough. The second thing to get a little more out of the cue ball is to adjust your bridge length. You here see me going down on the shot with my usual bridge length. I am able to follow through the cue ball to this point. But see what happens when I am resetting everything and put my bridge end closer to the cue ball. I am now able to follow even more through the cue ball. And if I now also adjust where I hold my cue, I can follow even more through the cue ball. Look at my left hand. I'm just going a little more to the back of the cue so that I can follow through to this point. So adjusting your bridge length by going closer to the cue ball and adjusting where you hold the cue can help you to draw the cue ball more. And as you may notice, I was dropping my elbow when doing my strokes. You do not have to do this and it's not recommended to do on shots, but you could do it on purpose and it can help you to follow even more through the cue ball. But all of this is useless if you don't have the right timing. So what do I mean by timing? When you shoot, the cue stick accelerates from zero speed to its highest speed and then begins to slow down and finally to stop. So a graph would probably look something like this. Having the right timing means that your cue hits the cue ball at that moment where your cue is moving the highest amount of speed. So being able to follow through the cue ball as much as possible is not necessarily the key to powerful draw shots, it's the timing. And let me clarify something about moving your bridge hand closer to the cue ball. For a perfect timing, you maybe don't want to be too close to the cue ball, so be careful with that. But you definitely don't want to be too far away, because that way you can't follow through enough and lack in accuracy. In the end, it always depends on your personal type of stroke. So you have to try to find your personal sweet spot, combined of bridging length, where you grip the cue stick and how you deliver your cue. And as promised, I have a few general tips that will help you improving your draw shots. Hold the cue very level to the table and don't shoot with a steep angle. Have a loose wrist and grip because that prevents you from choking and can also give you a little more of forward momentum. This grip here is very loose and maybe don't fit to everyone, but I think you get the idea behind it. Use the tip curvature of a dime. This is the perfect curvature because you have the biggest contact area on the cue ball, no matter if you're adding left, right or high or low. This will allow you to add more spin to the cue ball and it will also be less likely that you miss cue. Using a closed bridge can also help, but I just personally prefer an open bridge. And one of the most important things, slow down your backswing. All the cue action comes from the final forward stroke not how fast you move the cue backwards. So slow this down or possibly make a pause at the end 
and then deliver the queue. Only doing this can do wonders. Well, that's it. Let me know in the comments if you are struggling with draw shots or if you have been struggling and how you solved the problem. Thanks for watching guys and as always, see you in the next lesson. Take care.